Ooh. Ooh, Ooh Plankton. Yes, yeah, so I'm Tom Kenny. I play SpongeBob. Uh, Bill Fagerbach, and I've never seen a Patrick exclamation mark episode. Never have. <laughs> oh. Crane shot, very expensive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm Roger Bumpus. I do a Squidward, kind of. And Carolyn Lawrence, Sandy Cheeks. Yeehaw. Lancy Brown, Mr. Krabs. And I am Plankton. Oh, back off. Mr. Lawrence. <laughs> this episode is mine. Yes. <laughs> Not yet, mister. I've got something going on here. <laughs> if you'll pardon the expression, the titular character of this episode. I can't be hygienic. Can I say that? Don't be a boob. <laughs> titular? Kids, kids don't, don't prepare food like this at home. Yeah. Don't drop I it on your shorts. And how'd it go, Roger? <laughs> <laughs> So this was the first Plankton episode. This is his first appearance. Oh my God! Another nose. You'll remember the nose pick. Yeah, this is the first Plankton episode, and um, this was actually uh, my submission to. Uh, is that a Nick Jennings painting? Who did yes, that painting? I'm sure it is. Hard work. Beautiful. All the close-ups, yeah, always. Yeah. So this was the first one you uh -oh. submitted. Yeah, this, uh -oh. I submitted this, yeah, as a uh, as an episode for um, you know to audition for, as a writer for the show initially. And look how well it went. And it turned into this episode. It was called Deep Cover when it first started. Oh, history now. got changed into Plankton. Were you angling for yourself to do the voice of Plankton, or did no, you I figure won. that wouldn't happen? No, I won the audition uh, at the pilot stage of SpongeBob uh, for Plankton. If you remember, I, I I came in doing Plankton's voice for uh, SpongeBob actually. To do the scratch. Yeah, going, I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh, <laughs> isn't that delightful? <laughs> <laughs> Tiny <laughs> Plankton. Hollywood story. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I think it's an urban legend, though. <clears throat> right. But, Doug yeah. was sitting in Schwab's Very drugstore great. wearing a tight sweater. Marilyn <laughs> 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 Monroe came Humphrey, by. Ron Reagan almost had Humphrey Bogart's role in Casablanca. And Plankton almost was playing SpongeBob. That's true. That would have been an entirely different kind of show. <laughs> and I was so good. This is such a wonderfully annoying laugh. We used to be crabby yes. cheeks. And not sandy <laughs> cheeks. Yeah, this is when they were first, Those early episodes where they were experimenting with how annoying stuff like his laugh could be without, like, without being too annoying how much people can stand yeah, yeah. yeah how much is too much yeah Are those stars Young man. Young man. <laughs> i guess they're phosphorescent little, floaters little floaters yeah <laughs> peter max <laughs> come on boy a little closer more paranoia I love that. as always <laughs> <laughs> How can he go far when he has no depth perception? No lie. <laughs> I have to admit, I pushed for writing as many Plankton episodes as possible on the show. Yeah, you oh, always uh, Just so uh, I could be with you guys. <laughs> we thought so. <laughs> Scale plus 10 didn't hurt either. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to know is why did you favor Plankton and not like write Larry the Lobster episodes? <laughs> <laughs> Larry the Lobster, unfortunately, has. Problems. He has limited <laughs> capabilities. That we can't work out. <laughs> it's such a cheesecake, <laughs> though. So is that close-up uh, of SpongeBob's hand a painting too? Yeah, that, most of the time. Yeah, that's yeah. Like that's, that's, that's a painting. A, that's a painting. Yeah. Thumb buddies. The nice little kid. Nick Jennings line. My birthday. Yum, 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 yum. My birthday. <laughs> and you know what I like more than anything? <laughs> this this is my, so favorite my favorite joke. My favorite joke. A booster seat. Boosters. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I mean, <laughs> great. A dog is one of those. Boosters. There's, there's an awful lot of drooling and crying in these shows. Yeah, yeah. A lot of bodily fluids going on here. Because that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and slippery. Crazy Big Daddy Roth take there. Yeah. It's all about life in America. That's what the show is about. It's about satire. It's about. <laughs> Gangs of bikini. Oh, look bottom. at the little butt. Look at the little butt. Man. Look at that little butt. Look at that little butt. Now it's on his shoulder. Look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he has no cheek. fingers. Weak minded fool. <laughs> Night, Gary. I love that Victrolas and record players are such a big element on this show, too. Yeah. Like, as, as an old school vinyl junkie, I just love seeing record players. <laughs> I won't That's buy sheets like this ever again. That's my favorite. <laughs> Kids will know what record players are just from this show. Yeah. Gosh. I should add here that Plankton is the voice is a combination of uh, Gregory Peck, God love him, and um, Tony the Tiger. 
<laughs> ah. Good mix. Or Thorough or Ravenscroft. Thorough or Ravenscroft. Yeah. If you will. Tony's still alive. Sang the Grinch song. Yes. Your Thorough 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 Thorough. Thorough. I bought some cereal yesterday. Oh, Tony's still alive. Yes. Yeah, Tony. Tony is. Uh, yeah. I love that, bro. Yeah. He's not moving as quickly anymore, but he's, you know, we got the voice. It's great. <laughs> was this the, so was this the first show with SpongeBob's brain? I think so, yeah. This was the this was the turn we knew every once in a while the show when Plankton showed up, it would take a more science fiction turn and something a little crazier could happen. Right. And that's why he was yeah. my favorite line so right there. So Plankton Stupid was always brain. Yeah, was <laughs> <laughs> so Plankton was always a break from doing the more humanistic stories with SpongeBob. We were always like, "Oh, you know, right. now we get a break week to do something really nuts." Lex him. Luthor was totally ineffectual. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like if Lex Luthor was me. <laughs> He's only got one eye too. He's, you know, get a disability. <laughs> this is your brain on plankton. <laughs> <laughs> what, I, what I like about plankton, what, what I like about plankton is that sometimes, against his better judgment or something, he will like get happy and like join in. Well, that's yeah, it. Yeah, I yeah. love it that like he's got a heart eventually. That, Very small. That immediately goes there. away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I guess Squidward well, has as well. Squidward thing too. Yeah, and, and a crab a thing. Megalomaniac. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just plankton's bent towards more annihilation. Squidward, Squidward just boxers. wants peace and quiet. He's more motivated than Squidward. Yeah. Squidward is cranky without <laughs> wanting to conquer the world. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Hi. This is a scary scene. Does this scene give you nightmares? Right? Yes, it does. Uh -huh. Like with karate choppers, this is all about a loss of control. Who painted yeah. my house? And, uh, you know, not being able to. Have rain over your own yeah. actions. This was a partial nude scene they cut out. <laughs> <laughs> you had to sign one of those waivers too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I could. I was. We were on the set. It was we very were awkward. On the set that day, uh, were we? Yeah. Yeah. We I wasn't allowed. Are they selling it too hot for TV? <laughs> As opposed to Spider-Man. Well, this is great. This is drops great. his drawers at an instant. I mean, you know, oh, track. Uh, <laughs> you mediocre clarinet player. Mediocre. You pretentious little insignificant artist. This is kind of your message to Steve Hillenberg, isn't it? That Mr. Yeah. Lawrence? <laughs> That's freaky, too. When the eyes turn it back. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I wish I could do that. The last yeah, episode, so too. Very versatile <laughs> eyes. I think if everyone looked inward a little bit, uh, we'd all be better people. <laughs> this is an introspective yeah. episode. If I could see my character. That's what's fun about his character and all these characters being connected with the seven deadly sins you know which steve wanted as a as a theme for this show did he really yeah that was wow a, as character. for the whole series the seven deadly sins the each character represented a one of the Shit, seven well, deadly which sins one am i am i uh you're karate what what else? Else? karate is the eighth deadly sin yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's very deadly no, I'm not. I'm actually not sure which ones, but I know that was the that was the idea. It was kind of like Gilligan's Island meets uh, Faust. Wow! Gilligan's Island meets Faust. No wonder it's so good. Faust Bob. <laughs> it's SpongeBob Denver. Oh yay! This is a great yeah, joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's my love. My, love. <laughs> my bird bath. You knew the trouble. It it causes to uh, to do one of those cutaways. Those <laughs> live at, uh, at least in first season, yeah, just just getting the, that to happen on the show. Is, the is price difficult. involved, you mean, was a problem? No, just just the, the you know why are we doing Good that? Good for you, Spongebob. You know, fight it, fight it, boy, fight that's it. Crazy, that's yeah. that's too out there. It's too crazy. Why why do you have to go there and do that? And I think this is from uh, network people. Yeah, yeah, periodically. Well, you know.